does that sometimes where it'll just cut it'll cut the bottom well not the bottom it'll cut does that it's annoying but yeah we did it <laughs> we beat doom 2016 finally after weeks of agony we finally beat the game First Doom experience, and it was tough. It was very tough. A lot of fun, though. I will say, as hard as the game is at times to me, it, it was still a lot of fun. It was good. <laughs> Feels good to be able to, to put it behind you. Completed it. Um. I thought all the enemy types were were really cool and crazy. Um, I felt like they pretty much used any and all combinations possible of enemies to stop you from completing levels in the game. So um, I felt like they did a really good job with that. I loved all the weapons, uh, the minigun, uh, the assault rifle, obviously the shotgun. Super shotgun I didn't really use that much, I probably should have used more. I felt like with how powerful it was, it didn't really allow me to um, put too many enemies in the glory kill state because they would usually be killed with the super shotgun. So um, I also really enjoyed um, finding all you know a lot of the secrets. Uh, I didn't find them all obviously, but I found a lot. Um, I enjoyed. Um, Finding the suit upgrades, being able to upgrade my suit, you know, with like damage resistance or switching weapons quite quicker, or you know, um, being able to find like hidden levels easier. It was pretty diverse in that respect. Um, that's cool. It shows all the guns there. The gauze is really cool. The rocket launcher is my baby. Love the rocket launcher. Um, also, really like the individual weapon upgrades. I thought were really cool. Um, You can tell each weapon has its own use at some point in time. Um, I felt like as the game went on, um, obviously the oh yeah, the chainsaw was pretty cool too. The, the what's it called? The the pistol kind of became useless after a while, uh, especially against stronger enemies. There was just no point in using it anymore. Um, and although the shotgun was really fun after I think like once we got towards the middle of the game the shotgun although it was good it still had the charge shot just wasn't as useful as it was early on um, I also really enjoyed uh, the voice acting voice acting oh that's cute voice acting was well done um, I tweet other different different people in the game. I thought it was really cool to um, find the codexes. Um, the, I really hated um, uh, the, the old original Doom one. Um, I really uh, hated some of the enemies, but it wasn't hate like terrible, like bad design. It was like hate, like damn, they're difficult. Uh, Barons of Hell, um, uh, Katamons, you know, the big meatball guys, the Pinkies, um, the, the Revenants weren't too bad after a while, but they were kind of annoying in the beginning, um, the Hell Knights were super annoying, obviously, all the time, um, then you had, like, the, in, the Invisible Pinkies, those were ridiculous, because you couldn't even see them, and they slam into you, um, obviously I hated the summoner, she was awful, um, I really like the power-ups too, the power-ups are very cool, it's just, obviously the rage power-up is the best power-up, I mean, come on, the rage one, and then, uh, the quad was like second for me, quad was definitely second, and then after that, you could say speed, and I think there was one other one that I probably didn't use, um, it's probably like high jump or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was overall a, a great game. 
uh, game, I would definitely say um, people should play at least once. Uh, boss fights were very epic and very cool. Um, they weren't impossible, but they weren't easy either. They they were like they were difficult. That's the best way I could describe it. Difficult in a good way. I didn't feel like they were they were unfair per se. Even though I was cursing out the last boss, he wasn't really unfair. I just had to learn his move set a little better, and I had to just overall play better. So I'd say, I'd say it was definitely, definitely a journey. Um, I didn't really know what to expect um, when I first started um, playing Doom. Other than the fact that, you know, from what I've heard, being fast-paced, you know, action. And I thought I would, I would be pretty prepared because, you know, I have some experience in, you know, action action games that are you know pretty demanding like a god of war or devil may cry but this is this was just different this is different although those are you know fast paced in their own right um this is like true fast paced action there's no there's no dull moment in doom that's not what doom's about and there's no really reprieve except for you know maybe minor expiration Parts. Um, I also thought it was cool uh, that they were kind of um, talking about how this isn't his first rodeo because clearly this isn't the first Doom game per se um, so that was kind of interesting to see um, how they were talking to him and to see just how humans in this game or the human race you know had some demented idea that they could harness you know the demon energy and stuff like that um without any consequences and clearly there was grave consequences for mars um yeah i mean i also, also like the challenges the challenges are pretty fun um some of them some of them are pretty hard um but for the most part they were fun i also like how when you complete them you get uh, those runes which you know add on to your abilities as a doom slayer so that was that was fun um, <laughs> I was surprised at the clip that they were giving you weapons um, there were a few points in time where I was like wow this guns really cool but how am I going to add this into the mix I have so many weapons but then as you're going and you get into different situations, you realize, okay, like, this gun, you should use this gun, this would be a good time to use this. Um, I think one of the most surprising things about this game was, although they're, you know, it's literally kill room, kill room, kill room. It's simplistic, but it's difficult because each room requires you to use strategy, even though it may look like you're just running around and shooting shit and tearing stuff apart. But it's not that simplistic. It's more about, okay, what's the quickest way I can eliminate the more powerful enemies or, you know, kill off some of the, you know, weaker enemies because I'm low on health um, in order to succeed. So maybe you come into a room, there's two Hell Knights, there is a Summoner, you know, maybe there's three Revenants, um, and, you know, oh yeah, the Mancubuses were also awful. Um... <laughs> So, you know, obviously, you know, point of importance, you're going to go after that summoner because otherwise she's just going to keep spawning enemies, you know, and throwing, you know, beams at you and you're going to die regardless. So you're going to kill her and then, you know, you may decide, OK, I'm going to kill her using the chainsaw because I'm already kind of low on ammo. So, you know, I need some ammo and I'm going to kill her, you know, so we can kind of balance this out a little bit. Um, some levels were harder than others for me. Like when I got to, um, when I got to the first hell level, I already forgot the name, but that one was, um, that one was very difficult for me. Um, when I got to, um, 
Lazarus Labs was kind of difficult as well. Um, and aside from just levels, there were just certain there were certain rooms that I had to try, 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 and try, and try, and try, and try, and try, you know, over and over and over and over again, um, until I finally got it. There were even times I would joke with my friend that's also played this, there were even times where I would, you know, go to a room, I'm doing really well, I'm getting really far in the room, you know, supposedly you could tell, you know, you're kind of reaching the end because the music really ramps up, and they're just throwing the kitchen sink at you, but I was getting towards the end, and, um, I died so then I'm like all right well you know I didn't really have any expectation of how I was gonna do in that fight so let's just go back in and try died okay well let's just go back and died and it's like oh okay <laughs> that was like this why is it so hard to get back to that point and then you kind of realize it's because you know I was loose I wasn't I was fighting with no expectation I was just really engaging myself in the combat and you know letting letting my um combat experience flow as i was using the different weapons um in hindsight i probably should have used um which weapon was it i probably should have used i keep forgetting the name of it but the um, the energy gun i should have used the energy guns um stun uh, uh, stun uh, lock a little more. I probably would have been more useful. I probably should have used the chainsaw a little bit more. Um, that probably could have got me out of some some crap situations. Um, I should have used the super shotgun more. That probably would have got me out of some crap situations too. Um, and at times I was a little too reliant on um the assault rifle and it's micro missiles but i really liked it i really liked the assault rifle it was, it was fast um fast shooting and i was able to put a lot of bullets into the enemy even if it wasn't killing them right away um it was still cool um yeah it was it was just an interesting game um just so you guys know I don't know if you guys heard me mention it before, but I do have Doom Eternal. I'm not going to go right into Doom Eternal after this. I'm going to tell you that right now. However, I am, you know, I do have another game uh, slated next up after this. Um, this uh, video is the conclusion of my Doom 2016 videos. Uh, I'm going to try to upload them, you know, as often as I can because the internet has been acting kind of weird um, at my house, you know, of late. You know, sometimes you go to upload a video and it and it goes through fine. Other times you do it and um, it says upload failed processing error. So it's not it's not the video I created. It's just the internet at that time that I was uploading was not sufficient enough to upload the video um, so there's really not much I can do about that but I will try to upload as often as I can um, but yeah I already have the next game slated up um, all I have to do is download it and uninstall this game excuse me uh, don't think I forgot about Catherine I, I do want to finish Catherine but um yeah, I've just been having a hard time on that, and also PlayStation Now was kind of finicky. Um, probably after I beat Catherine, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with PlayStation Now, because although there's other titles on there, obviously, that I want to play, um, it's just not, it's not the best thing to use, because at any point in time if the internet's you know acting screwy i can't play playstation now and you know that's not that's not um very reliable playstation now is not very reliable i should say it has some very good titles it's just it's so dependent on connection and my connection is not the best that causes issues causes problems um i also thought um the grenades were interesting um i probably should have 
uh, mix and match the different grenade types a little better because um, you have the regular one then you got the decoy one which I only used like maybe twice uh, so I probably should have used that more often then you had the uh, I like this red energy one um, I can't tell if it killed them or if it just pulled them in for me in place I think it also hurt them but it didn't kill bigger enemies obviously um, yeah uh, let's see what else could I bring up about happened in this game oh yeah I, I also really like the environments environments are cool it was cool that when I got the the boots to put on my doom guy we were able to um we are able to jump onto you know higher platforms or jump and uh, land on um, platforms that are further away. I felt like the environments are pretty varied, um, going from regular facilities to hell to you know back you know back on Mars to um, different you know scapes of of a uh, of hell to. Um, to different uh types of levels with different lighting um again it was cool to have the you know power-ups kind of strewn about and you know the power-ups were there for a purpose you know they weren't um they weren't just put there randomly if you're using the power-ups and your weapons you know carefully um or appropriately then then those power-ups will definitely come in handy um I always thought it was cool whenever I, whenever I was able to clear a room and I didn't even notice there were power-ups or I had forgotten to use it and I cleared the room with no power-ups. Um, I always thought that was that was a cool way of kind of um, kind of showing myself that hey you can do it even without the power-ups sometimes so that was always like a nice like win for me. The other thing I'm trying to see right now as well is um, I did get a new game for my birthday that I want to show you guys. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to show you guys whether I want to do it through Twitch and then port it over to YouTube or I want to just um, use my capture card um, for YouTube and do it that way. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I was actually heavily considering doing it um, the Twitch way, um, but my Twitch is kind of acting funny today, and I think the other day as well, because it kind of messed up one of my Borderland videos, and um, it'll like show like a little orange, um, yellow triangle, and it's saying like all oh, connections like having issues. Um, and then it'll go away, but the thing that sucks about that is unless you are, you know, viewing it yourself, like, on, on the phone, like, it shows you on Twitch, uh, when you're streaming, um, unless you're also viewing it yourself, you can't tell what's being shown and what's not being shown, because even when the sign goes away, sometimes the sign actually stays on the screen, and although I can see what I'm doing, you guys can't see, and that's not cool. And that kind of ruined one of my um, Borderland videos, and it kind of messed up one of the other ones too. Um, yeah, so I, I hate when shit like that happens. It's it's annoying, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching Doom 2016, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time for. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should tell you guys what what the next game is. Nah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till you guys see it. You guys can wait. You guys can wait. I'll see you guys then. Peace.